whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. In waging its constant battle against crime, the Highway Patrol, like all law enforcement agencies, is sometimes hampered in emergencies by private citizens. One such emergency occurred last November, involving a hold-up man who had attempted the robbery of a country bank. He was known to the police as Ellis Colton, a brutal, cold-blooded killer. There were rewards totaling $10,000 for information leading to his capture, dead or alive. Colton's car, all right. Take a look down here. Blood. Now, the bank guard said he thought he got him in the leg. Right over there, skid marks. Came in here, then cut right back to the highway. I guess Colton figured we'd only be looking for this car. Get on the horn. Have a couple of boys check this area right away. Right. Just... 
Headquarters is sending out two units right away. Well, we're not having any luck. Any word from the roadblocks? Haven't seen him. You know this territory. Where do you think he'd try and go? Well, that's hard to say. A lot of side roads running off the highway. That'd be the best thing he could do now, take one of the side roads. Have the word spread to the farmers. They can be a great help, especially for a $10,000 reward. 2110 to headquarters. 2110 to headquarters. You been in the barn, Edna? Not since last night. Why? Somebody knocked over that box of tools on the bench, found them all over the floor. Probably the dog. She sometimes goes to sleep in there. Did you look around for her? No, but I'd better. Wouldn't want her to ruin those new preserves of yours. Not the dog. Somebody's hiding in the barn. Hiding? Must be a tramp. He's hurt. Blood all over the place. Where's my rifle? It's in there. Oh, John. Oh, honey, I'm not going to hurt him. Just want to get him out of the place. Are you sure it's only a tramp? Well, who else could it be? On the news a little while ago, there was a bulletin about an attempted bank hold up at Arverne. So? A gangster named Colton. He got away. He was wounded in the leg. It couldn't be the same guy. They said he's a killer, John. There's a $10,000 reward for him. $10,000. Boy, he must be public enemy number one. Call the highway patrol. Yeah, you bet. Edna? Are you sure about that reward, the amount, I mean? The announcer repeated it a couple of times. Ten thousand dollars. So you hate to see that kind of money go to somebody else. What are you talking about? Oh, no! You're not thinking of trying for that reward yourself. Why not? I told you why not. He's a killer. You wouldn't have a chance against him. Oh, I wouldn't try it alone. I wouldn't even think about it, but... If I had some help. Like George and Vance. They'd be glad to help for a share. I just hope that guy's still in the barn. No, John, no. Forget it. Call the patrol. This is their job. They'll know what to do. Oh, sure. They arrest him, and for that, they collect $10,000. You'd probably get a share for phoning in the information about him, wouldn't you? Like what? Fifty, a hundred bucks? No, thanks. This guy's in my barn. I'm entitled to first crack at him. I won't let you. The money isn't worth it. Isn't it? Even a third of $10,000 is more cash money than we've seen since we got married. I could buy you a lot of things you've been wanting. I don't want anything that bad. Not when you're going after a man who's a killer. There's nothing to worry about. With Vance and George, well, we outnumber him three to one. All we do is arrest him and call in the highway patrol. There's nothing to it. Foolhardy farmers were preparing to break into the barn, Matthews and Officer Larrabee were combing the nearby woods in search of a clue that would lead them to Colton. Anybody live around here? There's a farm up the road, John Albin and his wife, and a couple of other farms a ways up. Colton's hiding out here someplace. Let's see if they've seen anything.
How would you guys like to earn $3,000 apiece? Ah, uh-huh. we're going to hold up a bank or something? Yeah, much better. Strictly lawful. You hear about that escape killer over in Arburn this morning? Colton? Yeah, what about him? He's hiding in my barn. You're kidding. You sure, John? I saw him. He's hiding in the back and he's wounded. Hey, they got a reward out for him. That's what I'm talking about. This $10,000. Now all we got to do is capture him then call in the highway patrol. You guys with me? Equal shares? I'm not greedy. Pay three hundred dollars is enough for me for five minutes' work, right, George? Well, now wait a minute. Didn't the radio say he killed a man? Now I've got a family to think about. Yeah, but he's wounded. He's probably passed out by now. And don't forget, there's three of us. As far as I'm concerned, John, you and I can do the job together. We'll split the reward fifty-fifty. Uh, now, now wait a minute, Vance. I didn't say I wouldn't join in. What's your plan? To tell the truth, so far I haven't got one. If we want to keep from getting shot up, we better start thinking about it right now. Then it's agreed. We all go up to the barn and break right in. Let's go. It's a highway patrol. Oh, no. You two stay and watch the barn. I'll go in the house. Come here. Alvin? Mrs. Alvin? This is Mr. Matthews, Mr. and Mrs. Alvin. How do you do, Mr. Matthews? Glad to know you. Sorry to bother you people, but we need a little help. We're looking for a guy named Colton. He robbed a bank this afternoon. Yeah, we heard the news. You figures around here? I don't know. That's why we're in the area. Well, uh, Ed and I haven't seen a soul, have we? I've been out in the field working all morning myself. Mind if we take a look around outside? Oh, no, no. Go ahead right ahead. Okay, thanks. That's your gun? Uh, yeah, Mr. Matthews. I, I thought I'd keep it handy since we heard that radio broadcast. Do me a favor. Don't mess with Colton. You can depend on that. Loaded. These are neighbors of mine, Mr. Matthews. That's Vance Swells and George Bailey. What are you fellas doing around here? Well, uh, Johnny, here as a matter us. of fact, uh, Mr. Matthews, we heard this uh, Colton fellow was loose. Well, Ed and I got a little nervous, so I asked Vance and George to help me look around. I see. You got a gun, too? Figured we'd best be prepared. Look, this Colton guy, don't play around with him. He's killed three people. He wouldn't think anything about killing you. You checked the barn? Oh, there's no sense looking in there. We checked it already, right, fellas? Yeah, we checked every inch of it, Mr. Matthews. I remember what I said. And forget about the guns. Put them away. You bet. Let's go. Tell me, what do you know about these people? I've known them for years. Hard-working, law-abiding. Yeah, they acted kind of funny. How'd they strike you? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they're probably all scared about the possibility of Colton being in the area. I want to check this area some more. Come on, let's start moving. They're driving away. Nice work, John. We finally got him to ourselves. Come on, let's get him. They better wait. They might be looking around. Yeah, I forgot my gun. Now, you stand guard here till I get back. I wish the patrol had found him. What, lose our reward? Now wipe that worry look off your face, Georgie. This is going to be like taking candy from a baby.
More blood in the floorboard. It's Colton's second car, all right? Looks as if we finally got lucky. I'll call for help. We'll cut off this whole area. The bad leg, he's not going to get far here. Yeah, you know you're right. Okay, go ahead. I'll take a look around. I meant every word of it, John. If you go through with it... I can't this... back out now, Edna. You'll see. Nothing's going to happen. We'll have him out of there and tied up in one minute flat. They're waiting for me. You finally ready? Yeah. Now, the way I figure it, we got to rush him. Now, George, you come from the left. John, you come from the right. I'll head straight for the door and we'll meet there. Well, that'll put us out in the open. He can take a pot shot at any one of us. I figure he's passed out by now. Or maybe he hasn't. Maybe he's watching us right now, ready to blast away. That's a chance we got to take. I think John's right. Now, if you're chicken, George, get out of here. Clear out and go home. All right, let's go. anything? No, not a thing. Had he been in the woods, you'd have left a trail. I didn't find anything. We've got six units on the way. Colton can't be far. Yeah, well, that figures. Cut out around in here someplace. It's the Alban farm right over there. I'm going over and check. You wait for the boys. Spread them out, huh? Right. This isn't enough. We've got to call a doctor. It's not that bad. I'll be okay. I'm going to call a patrol. No. We'll still get him. How? He'll kill all of us. No, he won't. I'll burn the barn down if I have to. That guy Matthews. Here, cover the table. Oh, Mr. Matthews. Everything all right around here? Sure. Why wouldn't it be? I've got to tell you something, Mr. Matthews. Do you Matthews. think he's around here? I don't know. Uh, what were we going to say, Mrs. Alba? Oh, she's glad you're back. She's getting a little nervous. Nervous, nervous about what? Go on. What were we going to say? Just what John said. The men have started to search the woods. The woods, huh? We'll join them in a couple of minutes. What happened to the other guy? Oh, George, he, uh, he went home. Yeah, what are you doing here? Just chewing the fat. Just chewing the fat. We shot you. I'm okay. I'll tell you the truth, Mr. Matthews. You shut up. Man. I won't shut up. Let her tell it. Colton's hiding in our barn. Why didn't you call the police? It was the reward money. They're afraid they won't collect it if your men capture him. All right, I'll tell you what I want you to do. See this window? Keep away from it. We'll take it from here. All right, come on, let's go. Oh, well, Mike, glad you're here. It looked like Colton was going to come out. I told you about these guns. Get out of here, will you? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll cover you, and then you cover me. Colton, come on out. You haven't got a chance. I can't come out. I've got a bad leg. I'm back here on the floor. I throw your gun out. It's on the floor. I can't reach it. Come in and get me. I surrender. I won't try anything. I swear it. Just get me to a doctor. I've lost a lot of blood.
take over, huh? We heard the shooting. Did you get him? Oh, it's Matthews. I'm at the Alban farm. We got Colton. Get an ambulance here right away, will you? Right. Well, forget it's over, Mr. Matthews. Even if you fellas get the reward. The way you walked in that barn, you earned it. Let me tell you something, mister. No law enforcement officer ever gets a reward. That's in line of duty. That's our job. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Alban, i tell you one thing. You got yourself $10,000 for the information you gave us. Spend it, huh? Don't give it to these guys. Just spend it. Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, if you care to drive, drive with care. This is Bradley Crawford saying, see you next week.